Greetings, champions, and welcome to the Alaloth Champions of the Four Kingdoms gameplay commentary video. Alaloth is an isometric action role-playing game with challenging combat and rich lore. This video will let you take a peek into the game and enter its fascinating world. What you're about to see is a work in progress and it will still be improved with time. The first step on your journey to defeat Alaloth is character creation. First, you pick the race of your champion. There are four kingdoms to choose from. Human Kingdom of Ederest, Elvish Republic of Laristir, Dwarven Karakan, and Desolation of Baga, the Orcish Domain. The chosen race influences racial skills you can acquire later. Dual wielding sword and shield or heavy weapons. Choose wisely as melee combat is one of the pillars of the game. The choice of one of 40 available houses is also important as it comes with a legacy and influences dialogues and alliances. After picking the alignment and deity, you can customize the character's appearance, choose a suitably fearsome name, and you're ready to start the adventure. Welcome to Goldport, the capital city of the Blessed Kingdom of Ederest. Your squire Todrick will catch you up on the latest news before picking a suitable quest. To accept a quest, head to a Fighter's Guild board and take up all the missions that interest you. You can safely assume that the larger the reward, the more likely you are to get hurt on your mission. Before traveling outside the city, make sure to buy some useful items. First, the Juggernaut's Amulet, which increases the maximum amount of health, Fallen Keeper's Ring, which will increase your lightning resistance, and some health potions. You can hold up to four consumables during a fight. And now, a weapon. Since we've chosen heavy weapons as our primary combat style, we should pick a two-handed weapon, like that pretty decent battle axe. You can visit a merchant to buy magic gems to enhance your weapons, but we don't need any of them now. Ah, the Dancing Pony. The most infamous tavern in the entire gold port. In taverns, you can buy food or drinks. Wait. There's a quest to accept, too. This one is a delivery quest that will earn us some gold for future blacksmith expenses. Now that we're ready, we can find the main gate or look for the squire to travel. Let's talk to Tadric. We're in the Overworld map, which can be fully explored in the navigation mode. The Kingdom of Humans lies in the south, then to the north is the Kingdom of Dwarves. To the west, there lies the Elven Realm, and the Kingdom of Orcs. In the Valley of Storms, Alaloth lies imprisoned and spreads evil throughout the kingdoms, he is a dark god who turned on his pantheon and came to mortal realms determined to extinguish any light of hope for all who call this world home. Now let's head to the Raven's Hideout, one of the quest locations. Your movement speed is determined by the type of terrain that you're traversing and your mount, if you have one. We arrive at a safe area. A special zone you can use to choose your equipment, consumables loadout, revise your character's statistics, or check your quests in the journal. We will equip the battle axe with two potions we have purchased earlier. Let's have a look at available skills. They are divided into three categories, way of arms, way of gods, and way of nature. Each of them has three paths that define the character of the skills. 
You can mix your set of skills from various paths, but you can only have four active skills. Our hero follows the path of an elementalist, and we can use skills such as Earth Evocation, Fire Dragon, Ice Barrage, and Thunderbolt. We are now ready to enter the dungeon, marked by a sword's icon. When you approach an enemy, they won't see you immediately. You can use skills to gain an advantage in combat, just like that. Our champion is an elementalist who follows the way of nature, so we can wreak havoc with available skills. Now we've scored a critical hit. This can be triggered by using a strong attack. Making your way through the Raven's Hideout isn't easy. Unlike other isometric RPGs, Alaloth introduces a steep combat system, which requires more skill from the player. When you're not being attacked by hordes of weaker enemies, stronger solitary foes will block your path. Hack and Slash won't work here. You'll need to dodge and parry when possible conserving your health and deploying special moves and attacks. By completing various fighting areas, your hero will level up, gain reputation and gain fame through winning combat encounters. This progression will unlock new possibilities for the player as well as great rewards. The leveling system is linked to the general number of fighting areas completed in the entire world and it will give the player a level title. Reputation is independent for every kingdom and can be raised by completing fighting areas in particular kingdoms. Moreover, there is a fame system connected to the number of victories you will achieve that will make you obtain a fame title. This title changes depending on the alignment you choose during character creation. They've spotted us. Let's treat them with a fire dragon. When you finally succeeded, be sure to collect any loot available. Its quality depends on the difficulty level of the fighting area. Remember that every item has a certain weight and you can only take as much as you can carry. Weight influences various factors, including damage and defense. There's some quality armor here, food, and useful potions. Raven's Hideout, which we just left, was one of the small fighting areas that can be scouted for loot. You will be able to return to this location and search for better equipment later. If you want to craft a weapon, talk to the blacksmith. Choose the material, then the item, and you can see that the material changes the weapon's look and stats. For now though, let's just sell some items and get money. Advancing deeper into the world of Alaloth means facing ever stronger, more determined foes. Giant enemies will stand in your path. While they may be slow and predictable, their brute strength and resistance to attacks makes them hard to take down. You have to stand back and look for an opening, but still, one critical hit can be enough to end your life. If you die, you become a ghost on the map until you visit the nearest resurrection shrine. Remember to collect your equipment or you'll lose it. The shrine located in Edarest is devoted to the human god, Idaris. Sometimes you can come across champions from other houses or other races, and they're not always pacific. And there are also bandits, 
so there's a probability that a trip on the map will end up in a fight. Sometimes you'll find yourself ambushed, requiring you to change your tactics. Choosing the right strategy and upgrading your equipment will decide how hard any fight will be. When you know the basics, taking care of these bandits is more fun than fear. For example, lure them one by one to avoid getting surrounded. But are you prepared well for future assaults? How will the upcoming fights end up for our hero? Well, that's another kind of story. Your story. Become the champion and mark your place in the history of Alaloth, Champions of the Four Kingdoms. Plan for release on PC and Xbox One in 2020. Add the game to your wish list and stay updated.